What's up, what's up, what's up? It's your boy, Dre. Wait, wait, are you still recording? God dang it, Chris. AKA Most Malone and the Women, AKA Bryson Tiller. June, you're, hold on, I can't. June, you're, and welcome back to Dre's Weekly Dose, the extra official podcast. Granted to make you laugh, it's coming from the man with the Zeus. Who rhymes like a boost. Boost. Now I to do set my main man. Tell, tell who you are out there, Chris. And hey, what's up, it's your boy, Lucius Lobo, aka Chris Speaks, aka, aka. No, we are here, we grinding. You know what I'm saying? But let's first, before we start getting talking, let's get into this week in review. So, um, first topic, um, Colin Kaepernick. What do you think about the whole Colin Kaepernick tobacco? See, I like that way. Word of the day. The back, the back. Put that on the screen. That's the big. The back. But I think um, Colin Kaepernick is kind of an OG. Kind of an OG. Oh, yeah, oh for, OG. Okay, explain. For what he did, for those of you who don't know what he did, he did stand for the National Anthem. Yeah. At, I had a veteran game. Had a veteran game. Yeah, that's, that's so, exactly what you can hide. Yes. And so, you know. I think he's standing up something like that. He was trying to give a message about like uh, police brutality and like trying to get like some light on it from like a different point of view and everything. And I think what he did was kind of like good yeah. and bad. Because yeah, yeah, like, bad. it's good because like he's getting all the press, he's getting the word out there bad because all his press folks on him may take away from the season mm-hmm. and like how he may react, like play on the field mm-hmm. and everything. Yeah. And then on the second note, also ties into that. There's also some traction with people trying to get the national anthem kind of like kicked out of the picture and had a new song, which is called the Dipset Anthem, which is a classic, almost the rap, kind of rap rap world, we call the rap world, right? Now the Dipset Anthem is a song made by Dipset. It's a very good song, but that being the national anthem, Makes. So I mean, like that. I mean, in the debate with the national anthem, people really dislike it. That's why it only has five thousand supporters as of right now, which is pretty impressive. But I would. Uh, I mean, the national anthem is cool. People trying to replace it is kind of stupid. You know, we had it for like a long time. But I mean, do you have any problem with the national anthem? I have no problem with the real national anthem. But I think it's like kind of dumb that people are trying to change it. Like. Yeah. Like the national anthem been like like implemented like for so long, mm-hmm. like there's no point in trying to change it. Mm-hmm. It kind of makes up what you react to the battle. Yeah. yeah. Plus we all memorize it, so we gotta do that national anthem. Everybody has to learn words to dip set and stuff like that. Like everybody like, but actually you actually told me this is actually a third verse to the national anthem. Yeah, that's actually a third part of national anthem that you know no one it's there, but like no one memorizes it. We like when you stand for the national anthem and everything, we don't sing it, we sing the first two. Yeah. That's it. I don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know the third verse. After everybody stops singing, I'm going to start singing the third verse. Everybody looking at it like, what are you doing? I'm like, I, I'm singing the whole song out here. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But out of reports from North Korea, Kim Jong un reportedly killed, um, what was it? Um, it was one of his deputies for sitting disrespectful. Um, quote from Birdman, he didn't put some respect on the way that he was sitting. What do you what do you think about this, Chris? What do you think about this? Well, like, I feel like a world leader, or like, not world leader, but like yeah. a leader of mm-hmm. some sort, you got like lines and boundaries, yeah. and like things people need to follow. And so, you know, I'm not saying like what he did was wrong or he really did or didn't do it, but yeah. you know, he probably, King John Lee or whatever. King John Lee. King John Lee. King John Lee. <laughs> he, <laughs> he uh, probably just like felt disrespected. So, you know, as a leader, you gotta like show, like, if you don't do something about the disrespect, it kind of makes you look weak. Mm-hmm. I feel like nobody loves, really 
really, really loves Kim Jong Un. Korea, they just all standing around the fear. They're, they're fear, you know what I'm saying? But Kim Jong Un is weak to me. Like, he cannot win this fist fist fight with anybody in the USA. He is S A W F T. That's soft. <laughs> you like that? You like that sound effect? You like that? Yeah. I like that too. Uh, Kim Jong Un. How do you say disrespectful? Maybe like he was like leaning back, <laughs> he was leaning his cross. So y'all go on, y'all go on. <laughs> Chilling. <laughs> yes, um, uh, also, who was a man killed at a McDonald's for not holding the door for a woman? What What do you think about this, Chris? This whole thing is just... I think that's childish, like, yeah. mm -hmm. it ain't in the ball, I gotta hold the door for you. So. Yeah, I mean, I understand why she got mad that he didn't open the door for him, but she might have been taking a little bit too long. Like, I mean, I had that, you know, I've been opening the door for someone, and they're like, probably like, you know, a long ways to go. I've been sitting there for like a minute, and like, they, they're like on their phone. So I'm just like, okay then. Like, I, I just leave the door, and it's like, oh, she's just gonna leave the door open? Like, people. I'm mean, just like, <laughs> yeah, people, you took, you took way too long. The whole thing to me is so stupid. A man did not lose his life away. He had kids. Man. And a kid on the way, I think. I think that's a report. I think that he had a kid on the way, but he did have kids. That was so. That to me, that would be so good. Other thing, the football game, which I happily attended on uh, Friday, last Friday, it was good. 41-21. You know, Warriors. We got that dub. It was nice. The game was good. Dylan Plows went off. So like the whole game, was so good. The student section tried to say hi, it was amazing. But another thing, you know, my boy Jalen, he uh he, he kinda asked across the homecoming at the game. I thought that was a bold move. Like I wouldn't have did something like that. That was, you know, so something with the help of me. The boy Dre had to help me, you know, somebody named Kylie. I'm not gonna name drop everybody, but it was cool. But I felt like if the girl did say no, that that'd be sweet. I I transfer. Yeah, but that was you kind of kept in school for a couple of weeks. You did for a couple of You gotta have to stay home. You gotta you gotta stay home. Your, your parents will understand something like that. And another thing, sad Jerry Heller, the manager of the famous rap group NWA, has officially passed away. But the most savage part of it is the rapper Ice Cube was in in the uh, in the NWA group said that he's losing no sleep because of it. Yeah, what do you think about that? Because it's like I'm basing off the movie, Straight yeah. Compton, yeah. and I don't know if the movie's like completely right, but from the movie, uh, Ice Cube and Jerry did not have the best relationship. No, they they kind of, they saw different, they were on different levels with mm -hmm. the whole NWA. Yeah. It was more like um, Easy, who uh, was friends with uh, Jerry, because those were the two get paid. Yeah. And everyone else in the group was kind of like, my bread at. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. And also this last topic, Obama is planning to throw a musical festival outside the White House. It is called South by South Lawn. It's a play on by South by Southwest, which is held in I think Houston, Texas. Uh would you would you I mean if you had the chance, would you attend this event and this a one day event by the way? Uh I would go because one is probably hype. It's probably yeah. high. I wonder, I wonder who would perform now. I mean, it's the president, so pretty much he can get anybody to perform or you just deport them. Like, no, no you're leaving. You're going to perform for me. But um, I'm kind of scared. Like, I'll be dancing all that, and like a red dot sight is on my head. I'm right by the president, and I'm just like, oh, oh, uh, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, I, 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 I go. It's pretty late. I mean, you know, yeah, that's the guy I'd go, but. Yeah, we're about the prices. Yeah, we're, we're about, about to get prices. in. Yeah, you know? uh, yeah, it's the, it's the prices, man. But I, oh, we know that the security is gonna be deep. It's the White House, man. Like, it'd be lit, depending on. I don't, I don't really know. It's happening October third. So anybody wants to go to, you know, South by South Lawn, you know, Washington D.C., feel free. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, this is to wrap up today's weekly dose, the extra official podcast. Can't see to make you laugh. This can remember the sales club. Let's turn it up.
gravy. Who rounds like a boss? Boss. Anything like say? Those.